Okay, so in this video, I'm going to talk about degree of separation and perhaps diameter. So degree of separation is just the length of the shortest path joining two vertices in a network. So let's randomly pick, and it's not really going to be random, but I'm going to, I'm, without looking at the graph, I'm going to pick A and K. Okay, and I want to know the degree of separation between A and K. What that means is I want to find the shortest path between A and K, the path length, the shortest path length between A and K. Now, it's going to be mostly trial and error. You're going to look for a short, you're going to look at a route, you're going to look at the graph and speculate what a short route would be and take it, find the path length of that, then see if you can find one shorter. If you can't, then the one you found is the shortest. If you find a shorter one, then that's the new baseline. And then if you can find a shorter one than that, that would be the new one. Until you find the shortest possible one. <clears throat> so A and K. To me, it looks like I could go from A to C, C to H. Okay, so far I have two. Um, from there, so from A to H, Definitely the shortest route or shortest distance or the degree of separation between A and H would definitely be 2. There's no other route that would be quicker to get to H. So to get to K, the shortest route is going to go through H. So A to C, A, uh, C to H. Now I just have to figure out the quickest route from H to K. And it looks like it would just be to go to I and then to K. So we just found, um, so we're looking for degree of separation between A and K. And I found a path that had length 4. Now if you can find one shorter, <clears throat> then obviously that would be the degree of separation. But can you think of a way shorter to get from A to K? Like I said, <clears throat> to get to K, you're eventually going to have to go through H. So the shortest way from A to H is 2. Okay, that's the most direct route. It has to be 2, right? Well, I mean, it could be even more, but you know it can be less. The only way it could be less would, would be for it to be 1, and that would mean that there's an edge that goes right from A to H, and there isn't. So 2 is the shortest route. <clears throat> Then from H to K, I found the shortest route to just be from I then to K. Once again, since that's two, the only way you could have a shorter route than that or path than that would be if there was an actual edge going from H to K, and there's not. So four is the shortest route from A to K. So the degree of separation between A and K is 4. Okay. Now there's obviously longer routes from A to K, but degree of separation is the shortest path between two nodes or vertices. Let's just do another one, and then I'm going to do O and D. What is the degree of separation between O and D? Once again, like I said, there's not a formula or a quick answer. You just have to look at the graph and use, I don't want to say common sense, but use some sort of method. To get to D, obviously if you're at O, you're going to have to go through E eventually. Right? To get out of this circuit down here and up to D, you'd have to go through E eventually. So the quickest way <clears throat> to E is from O to G to E. So we have two already. Okay. So O to G, then G to E is two. Then to get to D from E, there isn't an actual path from E to D. So we know it's going to be greater than one. So if we can find one that's two, then that would be the best thing. 
So you can go from E to C, then C to D. So once again, this has a degree of separation of 4. Okay. I'd like to do one that doesn't have the degree of separation of 4. Let's just randomly pick. I keep using the word random. It's not really random, but it sort of is. How about just B and N? Well, that's kind of obvious. Well, we'll do two more. I will do B and N. What is the degree of separation between B and N? <clears throat> well, once again, to get to N from B, you'd eventually have to go through E. So there's a, there's a path from B to E, so that's one. And then the only, well, not the only way from E to N, but the quickest way from E to N would just be to go from E to G, then G to N. Obviously, you could go E to G, then G to O, then O to N, but we want the shortest path. So B to E, E to G, then G to N. So 3 is the degree of separation. Let's do F, <coughs> F and J. What is the degree of separation between F and J? Why don't you pause the video here, try to figure it out, and then I'm going to do it right now. Then you can start the video up and look. I need a drink. Oh. <coughs> So F and J. <clears throat> so obviously to get from F to J, you'd have to go through C. So there is an actual path right from F to C. So we're going to go from F to C, so that's 1. And obviously you're going to have to go to H, so that's 2. Then I... There's not a path right from H to J, so you go from I to I, then to J, so that's four. Seems like there's a lot of <coughs> um, nodes that have a degree of separation of four. I'm trying to find one bigger. So we found, <coughs> we've done four so far. Three of them were four and one was three. I'm going to try to find one bigger. Obviously, I could find one bigger just by probably, no, K would also... F to K would also be four. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just try to oh, look at the chart and see if there might be ones that are far apart. But I was just thinking of A and L. But A and L have a degree of separation of one, two, three. So that actually, I thought it might be big, but it, it's not that big at all. Is there one that's greater than four? Well, I think we'll, I'm going to keep this up here and go on to the next video where I talk about diameter because that's where we get into, um, we want to find the biggest degree of separation possible in the network. <clears throat>